Still watching the storm about 250 or so miles south southwest of the Bay Area, but you could see this is a strengthening storm, no doubt about it. Infrared satellite, you see the image there. Still dealing with wind shear, but not for long. Wind shear expected to relax, and it is moving in an area of high ocean heat content, basically above average warm water temperatures, and that's going to really fuel this thing to continue to intensify here pretty soon. Want to get to the latest. We got the 11 o'clock update, and not a lot has changed in the track, but we know it's getting stronger. So now the winds are up to 85 miles per hour. The pressure is down to 976 millibars. Both of those uh, basically tell us the storm is intensifying. The movement right now is north at 14, so it's picked up in speed, and we expect it to continue to accelerate as it moves to the north, as it's really picked up by that trough. So what we'll watch here over the next few hours is the storm continue to rapidly intensify. So it's a cat two by later this evening, approaching or just off our coast, and then expect it to reach still a major cat three hurricane intensity before it makes landfall in the Big Bend. So we're still expecting landfall to be in the Big Bend. We're still out of the cone. I know a lot of interest of is this going to shift to the east. At this point, we don't expect that to happen. The track has been consistent for a few model runs now. So we're pretty confident on the track. But the problem is it still puts us on the east side of a strengthening storm. And that's going to be to our west. And when you see the, the wind there, 125 mile per hour storm that could make landfall in the Big Bend, that's not good because that is just shy of what could be a cat four for folks up there. So while we're not expected to deal with the, the meat of this storm, somebody will. And with more time before it makes landfall, this thing will ramp up and be a catastrophic storm for the, the places that this impacts along the Big Bend. We're expecting just north of Cedar Key in the Steenhatchee area. That's where they're gonna really feel the brunt of this storm. So let's get you caught up. I mean, the hurricane warnings, as you know, still in effect, same counties, citrus down to Manatee. You've got um, tropical storm warnings elsewhere and shaded in yellow there. But the more serious threat is where we've got storm surge warnings in effect. And I actually wanna show you the updated numbers because these numbers are just crazy now for parts of the Big Bend where they're projected now to see surge as high as 10 to 15 feet in the Cedar Key area. So that is un an unsurvivable height. If you think storm surge, you think water above ground level or above normal tide, and this will be a life-threatening situation up that way. We're still going to feel our own storm surge along the coast and in our viewing area, especially highest areas north of Tampa. So Pasco, Hernando, Citrus County especially, and in the Bay Area, we're expecting surge to be as high as four to seven feet, and you see the numbers going down the further south you go. So pretty confident that the core of the hurricane force winds will stay offshore but the probability is high that we get into the tropical storm force winds especially along the coast you can imagine the winds will lessen as we move inland so here's another way to look at it the hurricane force winds there in orange and red that core will stay offshore that will allow this storm to continue to intensify and as it does so it's really going to turn up the water and i want everybody at home along the coast to take the storm surge threat seriously remember that's why evacuation orders are issued. Uh, they're not issued just because we got a strong storm, but because of the threat for inundation of water along the coast. And you see the times there going to be overnight and again tomorrow early afternoon. So several tide cycles here. A couple of tide cycles we'll have to watch for the possibility of storm surge as the storm passes just to our west. I'll tell you though, we still have time to prepare and rush plans to completion. Things are looking good right now. It's dry, it's warm, winds are light. You can barely tell there's a storm to our south. We'll take a closer look at those potential impacts where you live, Linda, coming up.